Welcome to a mini week in my life. Dare I say a few days because I want to make this vlog all about work, startup, founder content and I'm so excited because I know a lot of you guys like this type of content and I can't wait to make it for you. So it's Tuesday morning. I'll be filming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for this content and I am pumped. It's actually Miami Tech Week and I went to my first tech event last night. I don't like networking events. I don't like tech week events. I am such an introvert. It is where my introverted spirit comes out and I just don't like talking to people that I don't know and like introducing myself and once I'm there it's like a lot better but I don't know I don't like it okay I'm working from home tonight I might go to a networking event it is a party so I feel like parties are sometimes harder to meet people because there's just a lot of drinking people are drunk it's like people are socializing a lot and I feel like half the time they don't want to talk about work and I'm not gonna lie I'm not really there to socialize like if I'm gonna go to a networking event with a bunch of people I don't know I want to like get something out of it for my company so me and my co-founder are still deciding if we're gonna go or not but I do think that we should go because I always feel like what if we don't go and then we miss out on you know meeting someone really important to us yeah anyways I also have a date tonight I feel like I've been every time I vlog I have a date every single time I have had a date I have been vlogging so you guys aren't missing out on any dates don't worry I'm keeping you guys filled in I'll let you know how it goes obviously afterwards but yeah we're gonna just grab some dinner tonight I am working from home today so I have made my coffee I went on my three and a half mile walk that I do every morning now and I am just wearing really comfy clothes I'm on my period and it's it's a bad one like it's I'm having cramps I'm super bloated I just like feel it so much more so yeah that's not fun but i'm just gonna be working from home and i will take you guys through what i'm working on what i'm doing how i'm structuring my days what tech week is really like in miami and i am very excited for it so let's get into the vlog okay so i'm sitting here at my desk coffee in hand one of the reasons why i really like working from home is because i usually will have two coffees a day and so when i'm at the office I only bring my one from the morning and then I either have to purchase a coffee or just like crash by the end of the day, which is probably something I, I shouldn't be crashing by the end of the day, but I do. Last night, I literally went to bed at 9.30. I went to the event. We left early. We were like the first people to leave because I felt like I got everything that I needed out of it. And then I crashed i was like struggling to keep my eyes open at 8 45 so i was very happy that i got a lot of sleep today i got over eight hours which is always important for me i've been using my aura ring a lot more lately and i used to like think this was a waste of money and not like it and my opinion has shifted ever since i got a new one so my aura ring used to die after like five hours so it was just useless um and then i just complained to them and they sent me a new one so if you do have a fluke of an aura ring you can definitely get a new one so it was just always dead and it never was working but i've been charging it now i've been keeping up with it and it actually lasts as long as it's supposed to so i actually do really like it and especially now that i'm walking a lot i like to see my activity goals my readiness so my opinion has definitely shifted with it now that it you know works properly yesterday i feel like i didn't get that much done that i needed to get done so and it's because i didn't have like my list of like projects and things that i need to do so i'm gonna be doing that right now i will be figuring out what needs to get done it's currently april 9th on tuesday okay i just got an email that i was paid out for a brand deal that i did over a year ago i did it february 2023 and i just got paid for it today that's crazy we were following up with them for months and months and months at this point i can say we were following up with them for years but yeah i just got paid that's insane i'm happy that i got paid okay so i have to upload and film some tiktoks today for rella i also have to content plan for myself and then i have to follow up with last week's calls that i had and also ask for intros and do some cold reach outs with investors uh and that i might push off until tomorrow because another big project of mine that i have to do is go over pitch for presentation i actually was asked to pitch in front of 250 plus investors i am so nervous it's going to be actually at jake paul's headquarters 
called Better. It's like betting company. And it's going to be at their headquarters. I don't know if Jake Paul will be there. Honestly, I feel like... I feel like he won't be or else he would have been one of like the main panelists and he's not. But who knows, maybe he's going to be there. I am very excited for this opportunity but i'm also incredibly nervous i was supposed to go to san diego on thursday morning but i had to cancel my flight and just like eat the cost of it and now i'm going to san diego thursday night and getting there at midnight because this pitch is thursday afternoon and so i wanted to make sure i was here for it and obviously like my co-founder could technically pitch but it just doesn't look as good if it's coming from someone that's not the ceo and also my story is half of the pitch so it's just not gonna be the same if connor pitched so I'm gonna be pitching. I've been doing this pitch so long, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, but I'm very nervous because it's gonna be live. It's gonna be in front of a bunch of people and I'm gonna have to answer questions on the spot. But this is what part of being a founder is like. And I'm gonna, I'm viewing this more as like, look at this amazing opportunity I have rather than, oh my goodness, I am so nervous. So Natasha designed the deck for the pitch. Um, and so I'm gonna be looking over that and making, like doing the, the practice round so i'll actually probably film it so you guys can see what the pitch is gonna be like i have it already written out but i'll obviously need to see if there needs to be any tweaks or edits or anything like that i'm nervous i'm gonna get to work i just spent the past hour and a half to two hours working on filming content for tiktok and instagram reels so i filmed our investor update I also filmed just a few trending sounds, a few videos about planning our content. So now I have content for the rest of the week for the next seven days. I've auto posted it on Rella, so I don't even have to think about it anymore, which is really nice. And then now I'm actually planning my personal LinkedIn content. I used to post every single day for three weeks on LinkedIn. I did like a little challenge and have not posted really since. So I'm trying to get back on it because I've gained a lot of followers then. I met a lot of cool people and that's just a way to establish yourself as a founder. Like if you are a founder, you need to be creating content. You have to, or else you are just putting yourself at a disadvantage. I think about it as in like 15 years ago, let's say, or even let's, let's just say, yeah, let's say like 20 years ago. If you didn't have a website, you were behind. And some people were very stubborn and they're like, I don't need a website for my business. Like I'm totally fine without a website. Okay, 10 years ago, if you didn't have an Instagram account, you were behind. Some people were like, I don't need an Instagram account, whatever. Today, 2024, if you are a founder and you do not have a TikTok or short form content going up places, you are behind. So get on it. Unfortunately, it's just more and more added to your plate, but fortunately you can use Rella and you could be like me and just plan everything out. Yeah, I spent an hour and a half, two hours right now, but for the rest of the week, it's on autopilot which is so nice every time i use our product i'm just like oh my god it's so good and it's a very robust product so i totally understand like if you guys get on it and you're feeling confused which is why we have a lot of resources like our blog we have a youtube channel where we do tutorials um and we also have onboarding calls where you can actually talk to someone on our team and we will like walk you through it to really try to ease that confusion because i do know that there's a lot on it and if you used us a few months ago we might have been more buggy, there might have been some glitches, but I'm telling you guys, it's just so good. I use it every single day and like, I get emotional thinking about like, the fact that our team built this. So now I am planning my LinkedIn content. And yes, of course, I'm using Rella. And I'm actually gonna start posting my short form content on there too, so I'll be repurposing it on Rella. I'll let you know what I post. I wanted to thank today's sponsor of the video, which is Squarespace. And if you don't know what Squarespace is, let me introduce you to the best way to build an online website. I am a big supporter of people going after their dreams and starting a business. And if you're going to do it, you definitely need a website and you definitely need to turn to Squarespace. No matter what your business is, whether you are selling a course, which I have done in the past, Squarespace has tools for that. They also make it incredibly easy to schedule appointments and meetings. So if you have an in-person business, your business relies on one-on-one -on -one calls, coaching, whatever it is, they have the necessary tools for that. And I'm obsessed with it. I actually used it when I had my agency and they just have some amazing tools for creators. They have link and bio tools. They have selling e-commerce and products, tools, courses, subscriptions, and you can just make such a beautiful website. Go to squarespace.com slash nataliebarboo or use my code nataliebarboo to get 10% off at checkout and let's get back into the vlog. I got ready for this date so quickly within like 
15 minutes because I had to come and get my toes done because they were disgusting and I wanted to wear these cute little heels that showed my toes and so I was like okay I gotta go get my nails done so if any men out there are watching and are wondering why do men always have to pay for the first date this is why I don't even know how much I spent I told her put it on the card on file I gotta go because if not I will be late so yeah that's why men have to pay for the first date because I guarantee for the most part guys just like roll up to the date like they don't have to do any prep work they don't have to think about their outfit or anything like that and thankfully I have like a go-to date outfit it's like in rotation I have like three on rotation so it's always jeans and or it's not always jeans sometimes it's a little mini black skirt but it's always black I wear this black top jeans and black heels or black heels a black skirt and a black top sometimes I'll bring a nice like leather jacket so I actually do have a leather jacket that I brought but it's actually so warm that I don't think I'm gonna wear it the only reason why I wanted to bring it is because I'm peeling pretty bad on my arms and my shoulders but I'm like okay whatever hopefully I'm not late as of now it says I'm getting there three minutes early but you know with Miami traffic we're meeting at six which is just like prime traffic time um but yeah I got ready in my makeup I did my makeup I'm not kidding in five minutes like five minutes on the clock and then I still ended up being 15 minutes late for my pedicure but anyways I'm driving to my date right now we're just gonna grab some dinner at this Asian restaurant that I have been wanting to try so I'm very excited and I met this guy through hinge but we have a lot of mutual friends so I feel like I would have met him regardless like I know who he is even before we matched on hinge just through my friends it's like yeah we met through hinge but I feel like we know each other through mutuals so I will fill you guys in afterwards there is a networking event party after but I got a text and it says cocktail attire I'm wearing jeans and I'm already on my way I'm not gonna like go back to go to this party so I don't know if I should go or not I feel like it would be a good opportunity and I don't necessarily want to miss out so depending on how late the date goes I'll call my co-founder and we'll see if we end up going but I don't necessarily want to go I just sometimes I'm like am I missing out on a good opportunity if I don't go you know I'll keep you guys filled in But why would I, why would someone purchase it? Yes, but I don't think the industry, maybe in 10 years it will be there, but I think we're too early to like, for people to adopt that. It's just speculation. So I buy it at a dollar. Like, oh shit, I think this is gonna go viral. I'm gonna buy it at a dollar too. The more people that buy it, it goes up on this curve. And then you just wanna jump ship before an event. And then like somebody gets left holding the bag, getting fucked. Yeah, but I just don't think that we as a society are there yet to invest in we see how much right yeah no, yeah i don't i don't want any of this in there you don't want any of it in there no it's not my idea to share okay i'll take snippets they will have nothing to do with the company all right i mean it's not like it people, won't. it's not like a ton of people watch your videos but <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I will bleep out all the details that might remotely even think this is about someone's company it was the company I worked on for fucking six months, the beginning of the road. Yeah. It was that. And look what happened. Yeah. You ever play that game Crash? Nope. It was really, we played it in college, it was a really popular game. Crash. <sighs> game. Okay, anyways, I'm at the office and today was a full networking day. I started my morning with going to a breakfast at 9 a.m. at the beach. I met up with an investor. He also wanted to ask me some questions just about content related things, so met up with him. Then I went on over to Brickle, had another meeting with an investor. That one lasted an hour and a half, which is like very long for an investor meeting, but obviously that's a good thing. And that's why I like meeting in person because I feel like you really get a good connection with the person. And so that was really helpful. And then after that, I was late to a lunch, but it didn't matter because like the first 30 minutes was just networking. Went over to a lunch with a bunch of investors and then I, you know, met some other founders, met some investors, 
then came back to the office, had two meetings with investors on my calendar, did those virtually. And then Connor and I have been here for the past few hours working on the pitch for tomorrow. So I'm gonna be presenting in front of 250 plus people tomorrow, um, mainly investors and founders. So I am pretty nervous, but I am just like going over the pitch again and again and again and again until I just like hone it into my brain. And the thing about it is that I've done this pitch a million times, but the fact that I have to do it in front of people with slides really scares me. Match up and it has to, you know, flow. It like really makes me nervous. So I wrote down a little script. I'm just repeating it a million times until I memorize it. But again, like I said, I've done this pitch a million times, so I shouldn't have to memorize anything. So anyways, now I'm about to drop Connor off at an investor dinner and founder dinner. Um, and I am not going to it. I was not, I didn't get off the list. Rude. So rude. Anyways, they probably just want one founder there and I've gone to like a bunch of these supper clubs before. Connor hasn't gone to any. So, you know, it's like a pity invite, I think is what it is. They were probably like, okay. We'll throw one at him this time around. Um, but I'm actually very glad because I have so much I need to do at home today because I leave for California tomorrow. So in the morning, I have a meeting at 10 a.m. here. I need to be packed with my suitcase, ready to go. I actually did not think that through. I'm gonna have to Uber Where? in the morning here. Why? Because you're taking me to the airport. <laughs> and I can't leave my car at the airport because I'm gone for like a week and it'd be really expensive. hundred bucks. No, it wouldn't. It would be much more expensive than that. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're headed off. It is pitch day and I'm about to Uber to my office um, because I need to film my podcast and then Connor's going to take me from the office to Better HQ, which is Jake Paul's company, which is where the pitch is actually going to be. So this is what I'm wearing. I wore this on Sunday and I got so many compliments on this outfit and I love it because these slacks are like pretty professional, I would say. Also, like my stomach slightly shows, but I think right before I go on, I can pull these up and pull this down and you won't be able to see anything. But I wanna stay true to my personal style, you know, and stand out. I am pitching last today, so I wanted to either go first or last. I'm fine with either, because I think both of them are memorable. I would have preferred to go first if I'm being honest, but I, because I don't want to have to like compare myself and get in my head watching other people, but I'm totally fine with also going last. I have literally been praying all morning. I've been journaling. I've been reading my Bible. I have just been like praying for strength and um, I just know that God is going to get me through this. Like that's it. Like if I do well, it's because of him and I am just relying on him. I've texted a few people to pray for me. That really helps a ton and I am very excited to honestly get it over with if I'm being honest. I have my stuff packed. I am literally going to California for one weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we leave Monday. But then I'm going home to North Carolina. But like most of this stuff is truly just for California. It's just like my stuff. I can't, I, I'm like the worst packer now. I have that small suitcase this bigger suitcase and then my backpack for work stuff but whenever i know i'm gonna pack a carry-on i always do a smaller suitcase as a carry-on and then or whenever i know i'm gonna check a bag and then i do the bigger one as to check a bag and that way i never forget anything because i literally just pack everything because i have a bigger suitcase and stuff can fit so i'm gonna change obviously i'm not gonna go to the airport like this wearing heels but i'm gonna change into my sweats um, after we pitch and I'm gonna do my skincare because my flight isn't until 9 p.m. And I don't get to San Diego until midnight Pacific time. So like 3 a.m. Our time. So I want to make sure my skincare is done and Yeah, I'm so excited that I can just go straight from this pitch to the airport I think it's really gonna be a great end to a stressful day Let's get this packed and then I am going to uber over to our office like so much happened in your 20s. Think back to every single year of your 20s. At age 20, you are halfway to college. 21, you're able to drink and go out for the first time. We <laughs> practice walking in. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie. I am the CEO and co-founder of Rella. The only tool that you need for creators and social. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Rella. The go-to solution for creators and social media powered businesses to automate their workflow and share their content. Whew, 
Okay, I feel like even if I messed up, it wasn't horrible. You got the point, you got the gist.